As you know, we have been going through an extensive dry season. The extensive dry season has uh, severely impacted our surface water uh, availability and our groundwater uh, ratios. So what we have seen as a result of the prolonged dry season, extend, extremely dry season, is that a lot of persons are also going to pipe water for, uh, for gardens, for farming, for agriculture. They're going to pipe water also uh, for construction purposes. Now this is adding more demand on the system. This is adding additional stress on the system that is already suffering from uh, depletion based on the dry weather. So I wanted to, to ask uh, members, communities, members of the population to, to be careful with the consumption of water, to uh, not to, to minimize wastage, to ensure you turn the, the taps off, because the period we are going through is one that is uh, excessively dry, the, the, the phenomenon uh, is, is bringing serious stress regionally and globally. Uh, we are now talking about water stress scenarios, and that is as a result of the very dry, very dry period we are undergoing. So for example, in Region 1, we have seen a reduction in the flow from springs, especially at Matthews Ridge, Mabaruma uh, area. This has resulted uh, in the uh, water authority taking a um, decision to do sectional delivery uh, to residents on a scheduled basis to ensure that we maintain a level of uh, supply. We also saw a decline in the static level of some wells, especially at uh, Manawarin, Ar Arakaka, and Port Kaichuma. Um, this too has resulted in decisions to have sectional delivery to supplement what we are doing. Um, and the production of all the wells in Region 1, especially uh, the hinterland areas, Region 1 and the other areas, are being monitored. In Region 7, we, saw there is a, we also saw a decline in the static level of many wells, uh, as, uh, uh, for example, Cameron and Jawala. So these situations are also being monitored. As I said, we don't have a, a, a situation now um, where it is um, detrimental to the, to, to the supply and delivery, but I'm just speaking to the population, engaging you so that we can be aware of what is happening and we can take the necessary action so that we can also help in the, in the current circumstances.